Helen Tarwasa prepares the remaining few small yams she has left after the harvest. As a subsistence farmer, she struggles to feed all five of her children, especially meeting the unceasing appetites of her seven-month-old pair of twins. The twins are small for their age and one suffers from an ongoing respiratory condition. So Helen's been advised by a community health worker to attend this nutrition support group. Today's class is about complementary feeding for babies older than six months. The facilitator demonstrates how to add locally available foods like soya beans and groundnuts to a basic porridge commonly prepared by mothers here to make it more nutritious. This is a critical time for these children. These complementary foods are also very critical. So what we see in most countries, particularly in Nigeria, is that from 6 to 24 months, you start to see a deterioration in the nutritional status of children. Despite living in Benwe State, considered the food basket of Nigeria, children here suffer from stunting and chronic malnutrition, a condition that can impair a child's physical and cognitive development. Women have been encouraged to exclusively breastfeed their babies for the first six months of their lives. This is considered one of the best nutritional interventions. But when it comes time to start introducing complementary foods, traditional practices, poverty and lack of knowledge hinder them from making good nutritional decisions for their children. That's why the government, UNICEF and partners are focusing efforts to combat malnutrition from the time a woman falls pregnant up until the baby is around two years old. Pregnant women are encouraged to begin antenatal care at health centres early on and to register there for delivery. During their pregnancy, they receive regular checkups and are given vitamins and iron supplements to keep them healthy. We start from right from the clinic, teach them exclusive breastfeeding. How do we cancel them? How, because the beginning matters. After a woman gives birth, support groups such as this as well as follow-up visits by community health care workers are essential to ensuring that a mother maintains a balanced diet for her child and that her children go to the local health centre to get their vaccinations and checkups. And the results of these efforts are starting to show. For Helen, the demonstration has been helpful. She now knows how to prepare simple nutritious meals for her babies. You've been watching UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org.